All right. I'll be here in a minute. Mmm. Sweets. Now, I'm sure you're all well aware that there's a little thing going around called coronavirus. You might have heard of it. You know, it's been mentioned on the news once or twice. And it's obviously killed quite a few people. And it's infected quite a lot of people as well in this country and around the world. So, um, you know, people are scrambling around. People are trying to get toilet rolls from the supermarkets. Oh, we'll survive on toilet rolls. Don't know. Don't know how that's going to help you survive. Um, oh, well done. You can wipe your ass. Right, how are you going to eat, though, Dave? Think about the food. Get some pasta. Get some pot noodles. You know, get some crisps. Uh, apples. You know, apple a day keeps the doctor away. That'll be helpful, okay? Get some of that, Dave. Start filling your trolley with that stuff. Where are the toilet rolls coming in use? Okay? I don't wipe my ass that often. And if I do, I'll use a spare sock or something. Uh, you know, if it gets to that situation. So, you know, there's obviously been some panic, I'd say, at the supermarkets. But fear not, ladies and gentlemen, because the good people on YouTube have got some life hacks for us on how to survive the coronavirus. Because if there's one thing that we need during this time, it's the trivialization of the virus, I think is exactly what we need. We know life hack videos are always very useful, so why not combine life hacks and coronavirus? So this video is titled, Wuhan Virus, DIY life hacks to protect yourself from the Wuhan Chinese virus and how to stay healthy. Yay. Um, not so sure this is scientifically proven, given the fact this is from Doobie Doo. This is government advice to do all these things, but maybe try some of these at home if you do get infected. Disclaimer, um, this will in no way help things, so definitely don't do these and follow government advice. But anyway, let's listen to their DIY tips. Let's see how we can survive the coronavirus, according to them. I will warn you, this video does have terrible music in it, so I've decided to mute it and replace it with my own music, um, just because I have permission to use it. I like how they've built up the narrative. Oh, three women in an elevator. Oh, they're sneezing, covering the mouth. Oh, how are they going to survive? Listen up. Okay, so get a mask. Okay, this is a good start. You know, some people want to get masks. It helps them feel a little bit safer, etc. Maybe helps stop you touching your mouth so much. Okay, get a mask. Good bit of advice. Don't know what she's doing with a Sharpie, but we'll, we'll trust her. She's not drawing on it, is she? She's, dro she's drawing a giraffe on a mask. What is, what is going on here then? Now balloons come out. Where's the balloon come from? Right, so she got a giraffe that's been drawn on a mask and now she's stuck it on a balloon. What is going on here? Why, why is this a thing? How is this protecting me from the virus? The giraffe's not gonna do anything. She's not painting it, is she? Why are we painting the mask? This is an opportunity to have a colouring in session. What's the, what's this all about? Why is there a giraffe on a coronavirus mask? Well, how is that helping anything? How is that gonna help me survive? Oh, let's draw a giraffe. Oh, I feel better now. Never could have been thinking of Is that literally it? That's it. That was the advice there. Draw a picture of a giraffe. Jesus Christ. These life hacks are so rubbish. I wonder if it works with other animals, whether it has to be specifically a giraffe. You know, could it work with a tiger, perhaps, on the front? I don't know. I don't know. Can tigers beat coronavirus? All the highs and lows said I'm gonna win. Okay, so a box of tissues. Okay, could be helpful if there's any left on the shelf. Um, what, what are we doing with the box of tissues? Using them, presumably, just to cover our mouths? I don't know. Though the world might spin, now I'm sitting here like I'm no like origami with tissues what's this all about what's when we're just using a tissue you just pull out the box bang straight using it straight away blow your nose whatever why are we folding it up right we've got an elastic band now what what and a stapler what's going on here what are we turn this into what's wrong with just a little box of tissues look how many tissues you wasted to make this wait what is it was that like a homemade mask or something made out of tissues is that seriously the best you can think of <laughs> Right, I don't know where this green velvet's come from, but anyway, we'll trust, we'll trust that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna help us, it's gonna help us fight the virus. Just to guess my way. Who has got a stencil that looks like that? Oh. Right, well, what are we making here? I'm trying to survive a virus, and we're messing around cutting things out. Well, the phone call. Just stitch it together, yeah, yeah, easy, easy, just stitch it, yeah. Some Where's the, we're just working on the green one, why is there a black one suddenly? Right, okay, let's let's be clear. No amount of arts and crafts is going to help you survive the coronavirus. Why are we doing this? What is this all about? Do a bit of painting? Oh, 
Yeah, oh, I feel so much better now. Painting doesn't help, okay? Painting's not gonna kill the virus. Last time I checked, it's not gonna leave you immune, is it? Just don't get enough fun. That's not seriously the life hack, is it? Draw on some felt, or whatever it was, cloth. Or paint a skull of crossbones on it. Oh, that, that'll do it, yeah. If anything, that's gonna freak everybody out. That's gonna make people more scared, if anything. Oh, she's sneezing. Oh, that's, oh. Hang on a second, how's that, what's happened there? Are they like VR glasses or something? Why, why, why is she seeing the germs on the glasses? Makes no sense. Right, why are we getting a bottle out? What's going on here? Right, where are we getting tea tree oil from and alcohol and all this? Where's this coming from? Hand sanitizer spray. Now, I don't know about you, but I've seen lots of news articles, specifically government advice saying, do not make your own hand sanitizer. This video, just like, yeah, do make your own hand sanitizer. That's how you're gonna survive the virus. By, you know, sticking some tea tree oil in a dish with some alcohol. Brilliant. This is the most useless video I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's saying something for life hack videos, because they're already pretty useless. Ah, oh, spray that on. Basically immune. Just look, ah, oh, yeah. Easy as that. Just spray it on her hands. She's, she's clean now. We're not making more hand sanitizer, are we? Right, what's with the Tupperware box now? Just don't get enough from me. What is this all about? Who's making this? You've got too much spare time in your hands. Probably don't get out of the house anyway. You're not gonna get infected. You'll be fine. Is anyone seriously gonna be faffing about like this? You know, you're dying of the virus, right? You're riddled with it at this point, let's be honest. You know, you, you're infected. You're on your last legs. Should we get some dry wipes and just start dunking them in some homemade soap? Oh yeah, that sounds a brilliant idea, Dave. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Of course not. You only get someone to pop to the shops for you, and they'll get some, you know, some that have actually been tested to work. Oh, and if you don't have a Tupperware box, get your coffee cup out, because we'll use that instead as a tissue dispenser. Just don't get enough right, what's going on now with a Tic Tac box? What is going on? Why are we putting more wipes inside another box? Why are the boxes getting smaller and smaller as well? How is this Tic Tac box going to help me survive? No one's going around going, oh, do you not know save me a Tic Tac box? Oh, did it? Did it really, Sandra? Thanks for that. How many wipes are you going to fit in there? Three? They're not decorating it. No, they're not... They're not decorating a Tic Tac box. They are, they are doing that. That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, I've survived now, haven't I? I've survived the coronavirus. Oh, because I decorated a Tic Tac box. Pathetic. How is this a life hack on how to stay healthy from the coronavirus? You've decorated a Tic Tac box, Deborah. How, how is that doing anything? You've wrapped some tape around it and stuck some little beads on. Oh, brilliant. Feeling 10 times better now. Right, what's this then? More alcohol. Forget buying the toilet paper, get some alcohol in. Just get some vodka or whatever. Whatever's on the shelf, just get by that in, in bulk by the looks of it, because you just need alcohol to survive, apparently. That's how you survive the coronavirus, unofficially. Put some booze in a glass bowl. Brilliant, you survived it. Bit of tea tree oil, you'll be fine. Oh, whisk it up. Let's get creative with it, come on. Let's spice this up a bit. Jesus Christ, she's sneezing a lot, isn't she? Test her. Get her tested. She shouldn't be the one giving advice. She can't stop sneezing. She's clearly infected. So how does she know how to stay healthy? So on zipper. What is this all about now? Yeah, and what have you made? A sock with a zip? What is this? I don't know what you're making. It's a pouch. Is it? No, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. In order to stay healthy from the coronavirus, their advice, not the official government advice, their advice is to make a wristband with a zip on it so you can get plastic gloves out of it. Oh, well then. You've practically survived already. What's wrong with just using a pocket? I mean, that's what pockets are made for. Let's slip the gloves in there, shall we? It's like Michael Jackson walking into that room, isn't she? Shaman. Although obviously without the allegations against her, obviously. I doubt she's got any. She might do. She certainly should do with some of these tips she's given out. Jesus Christ. Suspicious behaviour. It's like ready steady cook now. What's going on here? Why are we why are we suddenly stirring all this stuff up? It's not a cooking show, is it? Food colouring. Apparently that helps. Yeah. Oh, base soap and sparkles. Let's sparkle it up a little bit. Sparkles will beat coronavirus any day. Yeah, a bit of glitter. Let's glitterize everything, that'll help us. Right, what is going on now? Are these like unicorn soaps? They've just made unicorn soaps to survive coronavirus. 
I mean, that's it. We're done. Do you know what I mean? There's no chance. There's no chance of us getting out of this one, is there? I mean, when there's people like this around going, oh, why don't you survive? Make some unicorn soap. That'll do it. I mean, just the idea that you want to sort of turn this into a sort of a creative arts opportunity for coronavirus. It's just weird, isn't it? It's a bit uncomfortable to sort of see, you know, how to stay healthy from the coronavirus. Draw a giraffe on a mask. It's, it's weird. That is not normal behaviour. I just don't think anyone's staying healthy from a bit of Sharpie on the front of a mask. I mean, it's not going to do anything. I mean, at least just put in there, you know, wash your hands. Something basic like that. Forget making your own hand sanitizer and all that nonsense. Just wash your hands. Do you know what I mean? Just like that. Bang. Around the thumbs, on the wrists. 20 seconds, you know, sing happy birthday to yourself or whatever the advice is, okay? Do that. Check official government websites and all that stuff. You don't need this nonsense. What's this? The worst bit though is the description of this video, okay? Not only is the title bad in telling you how to stay healthy from the coronavirus, the description says, Are you worried about the Chinese Wuhan virus? I don't know how to stay healthy and protected while on the go. Yeah, do you know what I am a little bit? Yeah, go on. Don't worry any longer because we have some amazing life hacks that will show you how to do things on your own in a fun and artsy way. Brackets, paint art on your mask. We're going to show you how to make your own mask. How to make sure your mask is fashionable. Oh, that was, that's top of my list, is that? Survive the coronavirus. Yeah, I've got to make it fashionable though, please. Okay, I don't want to live in a world where my mask isn't fashionable. How to make your own tissue box. Buy one from the supermarkets. How to open doors. How to open doors, ladies and gentlemen, without getting infected. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Right, well, there we have it then. As easy as that. You know, all the tips you could ever want. On a serious note, obviously, check your government's advice and all that sort of stuff. You know what you're doing, probably most of you anyway. If you don't, try and find, you know, something online that's not this to tell you exactly what to do. Easy as that, isn't it? Right, well, I guess that's everything for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you very shortly for the next video. It will be the Roast of the Week video, I suspect, this weekend, hopefully. No guarantees, but I'll try and do one every week. And, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for your support recently. I'll see you very shortly for the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.